What's up, guys? It's Beyond. I am back with another video, and it's the last day of 2022. So, on this New Year's Eve, I'd like to come to you and give you, you know, a review of the year that was 2022 for me, um, in various aspects when it comes to YouTube, just life in general, things like that. Um, and just talk about that and, you know, and look ahead towards 2023, um, which is literally tomorrow. So uh, with that said, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. I'd really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So I figured the best thing to do here is start off with the YouTube channel. Um, and f first of all, I'd like to say thank you guys again so much for getting me to where I'm at in terms of subscribers and in terms of this channel in general. Um, in regard to just the growth of the channel, it's crazy. Um, now, the numbers have gone up a little bit more since we got the YouTube snapshot stuff or about the middle of the month. Um, but at that point in time, what YouTube reported for me, almost 54,000 uh, total views, almost 64,000 watch time minutes, um, almost 1,800 likes, 132 new subscribers. October was my birth month, was the month with the most views, which I think helps considering the fact that I went to SmackDown that, mo that month and had a crap ton of stuff go up on the channel for that, which was incredible. Um, seriously, again, thank you. I truly appreciate it. Um, I mean, I started getting into YouTube shorts a little bit. I did 12 of them at the time. I think it's still 12 by now, maybe a little more. I still, I managed to rake in almost 13,000 total YouTube shorts views, mainly because a couple of them hit with the algorithm, which is crazy to me. So thank you guys for that. I truly do appreciate it. Um, you know, obviously most of my viewership comes from the United States, but a uh, shout out to anybody who watches me from all across the world. India and Canada ended up being the second and third countries with uh, viewing my channel in terms of the top three. So shout out to y'all. Um, and then getting into streaming more this year, that was huge for the growth of the channel. Over 4,200 streaming minutes and almost 3,000 streaming live stream views. And mind you, this doesn't even count the NXT deadline stream that I did. Uh, as well. So once again, massive, massive thank you to literally everybody that has checked out the channel over the course of the year. It doesn't matter how many views the, view, the videos get, as far as I'm concerned. Just the fact that you guys watched this content is crazy to me. You know, even as far as like as locally as, you know, people who I've gone to school with uh, to literally all over the country. I'm not the best when it comes to this stuff. I don't have, you know, the, you know, the expensive equipment that a lot of people have, but honestly, I just have a good time doing this stuff and it's, it's fun for me and I enjoy it and I'm glad that you guys enjoy it too. Um, you know, my high mark as far as subscribers go, I'm currently at 708. I had been at 709. Um, so again, that's just insane to me to get over 700 subscribers this year. Um, like I don't set goals for myself because I don't know what to expect for a channel like mine. I don't really expect a whole lot. Um, but you guys are just freaking awesome. Um, you know, again, going back to the live streaming and stuff like that, you know, doing majority of the WWE, you know, premium live events, uh, in total, Royal Rumble, both nights of Mania, and night two, I had to do it twice, kind of, because um, audio issues happened. Uh, Backlash, Hell in a Cell, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam, 
um, Extreme Rules, and then NXT Deadline, which I just like, screw it, why not? Let's do that too. Um, you know, live reacted to a couple of Patriots games, the second of which I got to do with OBB because uh, now that I've been brought on to StreamYard, shout out Smoke Carbon 13 for that, which also shout out to him for uh, for him interviewing me uh, earlier this year. That was fun. Enjoyed the hell out of that. If you haven't watched it, uh, go check that out. Uh, go subscribe to his channel as well. You know, the NASCAR live react uh, live reaction streams. Uh, hell, even live reacting to Leafs Lightning Game 6 uh, from the playoffs, which, yeah. Um, yeah, it's this has been a fun year for this channel. And um, I'm excited to see where things go from here. As long as y'all keep watching, man, then, you know, I mean, even if you were watching, I'll just keep going because that, that's how this, that's how things like this start is, you know, it's, you know, you start out with like nobody watching your shit and then eventually you get to a point where people are watching you and it's, it's incredible. Um, obviously race react, NASCAR race reactions. If I can walk, if I'm able to watch the race pretty much in its entirety, obviously I'll keep doing those. Uh, same WWE live streams. Um, I'll keep doing those as long as I'm able to, um, you know, if timing works out and things like that. Um, the basketball gym YouTube series. I know I've been putting that off for a while. I've just been busy as hell. Um, I'm not putting that to bed yet. I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I can't exactly tell you when I'm going to have another video up for that series, but that will come about at some point, hopefully soon. Uh, the Road to Revenge series, that's been a... I'll be honest with you, doing the Road to Revenge series has been a lot of fun for me. Just writing out all this stuff, you know, and you know, and trying to get it out by about the time of the pay-per-view. Uh, or sorry, premium live event. Um, Royal Rumble video will be coming up sometime this month. Don't know exactly when. Um, I actually kind of haven't started writing that one yet, I, which I kind of feel bad for. But I will get to that. Um, as that series starts to wind down and don't be surprised if there are others booking sort of videos that will pop up here and there at some point in time, once that series is done. Um, but that series has several more videos to go because it's a, it's a pay-per-view by pay-per-view sort of kind of, um, experience. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And then obviously diecast reviews, you know, even with everything that's been going on with Lionel racing and, and all this other stuff. Um, I'll still keep reviewing diecast. Hell, I've got three more that I've I have up uh, filmed that I got to upload to go along with the two I uploaded last night. Um, so those will come up uh, pretty soon uh, between today and tomorrow. Um, and as far as anything else goes, we'll just see what happens. Um, but yeah, aside from that, um, you know, as far as like my Twitter goes. It's been the following things. It's been fluctuating. I've been stuck around like 2K for quite a, pretty much all year. And, and I'm not really worried about it. It is what it is. Um, you know, Twitter, it is what it is right now. Um, I'm just happy to have the interactions. I've said that numerous times. Just be able to interact with people and stuff like that is so incredible. Um, just and especially also getting noticed by people. Um, you know, just having com like little conversations with people you never thought you'd have these conversations with. I mean, hell, I got to come home from work on my lunch break and I saw Zelina Vega, the Zelina Vega, uh, comment on my reaction to her making her return at SmackDown when I went, uh, back in October. And then she found me on Twitter after posting the, the, the clip, uh, and then followed me and all that, that, that was that is so surreal to me. Uh, John, the John Cena follow. I know he follows everybody, but like, or just about everybody, but like, that's still, it's surreal when it happened. And that's one that I just, you appreciate that as long as you can. Um, there have been some other people that have followed me this year. Lady Frost is another one. Uh, her and her husband, or her husband done followed me at some point, but I'm not entirely worried about it. It is what it is. Um, but you know, Lady Frost still followed me. That's awesome. Kid Bandit, another one. Absolutely awesome. Um, still kicking myself that I didn't get the chance to go to that uh, wrestling event that they were at in my home state earlier this year. 
Although then again, that event kind of turned into a clusterfuck after the fact, but it is what it is. It was in my home state. I didn't get to go. I wish I went. Hoping to meet Kid at some point. Um, and then again, going to SmackDown back in October and taking my dad there. That was that was so much fun. Um, and he even told me on the way home, like, whenever they're back up this direction, you know, if you want to go, you know, we'll go. Um, which I'm excited for. Um they ran a how or they ran a house show or whatever, uh, in my home state actually which I also didn't get to go to that. Mm. So if they do, if they come back to Manchester, New Hampshire again this year, I'm definitely going. Um, I'm hoping, to, hoping, you know, if they, uh, whenever Raw comes up this direction, hoping to go to that. SmackDown again, of course. Um, and then one of these days, I'll end up going to one of the, the, the big POEs. Um, I had, a, I thought about going to Survivor Series, but being that it was just after Thanksgiving, I didn't want to deal with that headache. Uh, but one of these days I'll go. WrestleMania is obviously on the bucket list, uh, someday. Um, and then obviously with that being, with going to these events, um, if I get to go to any of them in 2023, hoping I'll get to meet some of my favorite wrestlers at some point in time. Um, that would be absolutely awesome. Yeah. I've talked about that before, you know, Alexa, Bray, Bianca, Zelina now, um, Liv, Cody Rhodes, Rollins, the list goes on. Um, a lot of people I'm hoping to meet. Um, you know, and then Jimmy Johnson's back in NASCAR. If he ends up running a race in New Hampshire or something like that, hope to meet him. If I if if it gets announced, he's going to be there, if, and whether he's racing or whatever, I'll think I'll potentially end up going. Um, SRX announced their schedule. Their second race is going to be in Barry, Vermont. I've already told my dad once tickets come out, I'm getting to, I'm getting a couple and him and I are going, uh, cause I want to take him to that. Uh, so that's going to be fun as hell. Um, and, and yeah, just, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, again, Shreya has no prep Kings. If they go back to Epping again next year, absolutely going to go with my dad. Um, I've had the previous times I've gone, I have had a load of fun. Um, hope to get to go again this year if they come back to Epping, which would be nice. Um, and we'll just see what happens from there, basically. Uh, you know, this year, you know, turning 21 this year, getting my own car, uh, and some of this other stuff, you know, was huge for me. Um, literally just a couple of days ago, I got back from two weeks, a two week vacation out to see my uh, family out in Wyoming. That was fun. Um, Unfortunately, one probably the biggest low of the year, um, and I've talked about it on social media, uh, was losing my grandmother um, back in September, literally a handful of weeks before I turned 21. I was hoping she'd make it that far, but unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. Um, I know she's obviously in a better place now, but it still sucks. Uh, so there's that. Um, you know, first time really losing somebody like that. So it, it was hard. Um, but I made it through. And in the end, that's that's what matters. Um, you just keep going and you, you keep taking what life throws at you and you see what you can do. Um, aside from all of that, um, once again, just a massive shout out to literally everybody. Um, that I've interacted with, you know, you know, how these awesome interactions with and everybody that watches the channel, like it seriously means a lot. And if you follow me from Twitter, you know that I post whenever I post a video, a lot of times I try to post it in various places because it, it's just to try and help grow the channel. Being a smaller channel, you got to get noticed one way or the other. Um, and, and, you know, having like Brandon Perna. Yes, the Brandon Perna subscribed to the channel. Um, you know, you got, I got, uh, I don't, I think he follows me. Maybe not. I don't remember. I don't think he does yet. Um, but having guys like Five Points and Grassy following me, um, you know, and, you know, you pop in, you drop a super chat on streams, like, you know, a chiseled Adonis, whenever he's, you know, see me in the comments or, you know, in streams and stuff like that, you know, 
gives a shout out. Freaking awesome. Um, and some of these other guys, it, it's just, it's incredible. It really is. Um, you know, and when it comes to things like that and getting noticed by people, um, you know, getting noticed by popular people, you know, things like that. It, it's something I hold dear to me because like in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't necessarily matter to a lot of people. But to me, it's something to cherish because it's these are things that I never thought would happen to me. You know, I've been on Twitter for over six years now. It'll be seven next year. Um, you know, I've been at, you know, it's literally a third, basically a third of my life, almost kind of almost. Um, and through all the highs and lows that social media brings, I've enjoyed it because what keeps me going with that is, is the interactions, you know, interacting with people, whether it's within NASCAR, wrestling, um, or otherwise, it's just, it's a load of fun for me. I enjoy the hell out of it. And it, it means a lot that people care, uh, that people are willing to follow me, subscribe to my channel talk to me and just and enjoy my company and that's for somebody like me that means a lot and i can i can't thank you guys enough um so as we head into 2023 i don't think a whole lot's going to change you know obviously we're still working i gotta you know get with people to get ready for spring semester of college online all that um but as far as 2023 goes, it's going to be another crazy year. I'm excited to see what's going to come up with that. Um, and yeah, with all that being said, once again, thank you guys so much for everything you've given me. Um, it means a lot, and I hope to not take that for granted. Uh, you know. So, uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.